Welcome back to the Harry Hughes Show. Oh. All right, calm down, everyone. All right, all right. Enough, everyone. All right, shut up, audience. Oh, what a rough go we got here tonight. I feel a bit like Paul O'Grady, I do. Right, welcome back to the Harry Hughes Show. The Knitter character's gone, I'm afraid, because he's only here for part one. We've still got Joe Harding Kit, as in for a oh. tragic moment when he got the first question wrong on question number seven. Oh, when I knew all along it was Poland. Yes, you did. You did it. You did know it was Poland, after all. <clears throat> I know it's really shocking when you get when you get the question wrong, but I had to accept when you get the get the question, you know, Ben. Uh, why am I keep saying it? Oh God! I mean, I have to. I, I mean, I ha you have to accept, you know, you know, the question when it comes up. Say like Poland or or whatever. It's really shocking when you, you know, but. But it's not I have to really think, don't I? Yeah, that's why I was saying, you have to take your time. That's why we always say, Chris Tarrant always says on his millionaire show, they're only easy if you know the answer. That's the way it works. There's there's four answers, three of them are wrong, one of them is right. That's how the game works. Well, but you still have another did chance. You when I said, did you thought when I said Switzerland, you blew it? <laughs> I felt like you was rushing into it because you felt like you're not even taking your time. And I felt like, seriously? Is that, seriously? Is that quick? <gasps> yeah, that's why you say, that's why I always say, take your time. Because you've got lifelines. They're always left on the table. Because, because just not just using one and leave some on the table, which you haven't even used for quite a while yet. <laughs> okay. Right. <clears throat> oh god, it's, it really has been really shocking. It is. I tell you. Oh god, I, I really just couldn't believe it, Joe. When you got that question wrong. But just, just, to, just before we carry on, Joe, what would you do for Ben if, if we, if you won the million? What well, I would do for Ben, I yeah. would get him a car, get him a house, get him a hot girlfriend. And finally, get what he wants, a dazzle. A dazzle up the razzle. Then up the basil. <laughs> right. I think it's most be supposed to be the, the extraordinary art we've ever heard. Right. Let's get back to position. We're giving you another chance because we're only doing this for Ben. You're oh. still sitting on till 10 million points. You still got three life lines. You still got your switch. Ask your and ask an expert. But please, 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 don't get it wrong this time. Because <laughs> we don't want another question about Switzerland or another landlocked. <sighs> it's really has been shocking, right? Yeah. Let's let's get into the position, all right? Are you ready? Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm ready. Okay, we have another chance. Let's play. Who wants to be a billionaire on the Harry Hughes Show? Let's play. Right. Now, now, do not get this wrong, okay? We always say they're only easy if you know the answer, but for this round, please take your time. Okay? Okay. Right. Here comes the question. Here it is for 25 million. Here it is. Which game console came out March the 1st, 1997? Nintendo 64 PS1 Xbox 360 or the PS2? Which game console came out March the 1st, 1997? Was it the Nintendo 64, PlayStation 1, Xbox, or PlayStation 2? It's the Nintendo 64. Is that your final answer? That's my final answer. If you get this wrong, things will turn ugly. <laughs> oh, God. 
It's gone orange. You want to know the answer, don't you? Yeah. I can tell you in March the 1st, which, which game console came out was the Nintendo 64! Yes! You just won 25 million points! Even the audience is pleased. <laughs> well played, mate. Oh. That's incredible, mate. Well done. How uh, did you guess that? I, I I don't know. Since I've been playing games, since. Uh, since, uh, since my birthday is April the 3rd, I know that a month earlier and two days was the day that the Nintendo 64 came out. That's right, yeah. The Nintendo 64... That was... Yep. Yeah. It came out on March um, the 1st. And, um... Mm -hmm. That's right. And, um... I'm just trying to say, like, um, the PlayStation 1 came out, uh... In um, we're in Europe, aren't we? Yeah. That came out in September 29th, 1995. Then um, the PlayStation 2 that came out in um, if I'm trying to try to think, gotta keep thinking. I think that came out in 1998, and and finally the Xbox 360. The Xbox 360 that came out in November 2020. I can't even say it. La, 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 la. The 22nd of November 2005. Oh, okay. Okay. But you've done well. You got. That's really great, that is. You, got, you managed to get up to 25 million points without getting this wrong. That's fantastic. Now. Now, you are only three questions away from one billion points. You still got three lifelines. You still got to switch. You still got to ask the audience. And you still got to double. And you still got to ask an expert. Okay? Okay. Now, now, there's no time limit on this game. We never see. There's no time limit on, on. We never have any time limit on this game. So, what I'm just saying is just take your time. Okay? I try. Right. <laughs> Because we don't. Besides, I keep these little things around here. We're saying on the billionaires game show if I can find it. Because we're saying like these are the these are the amount what you win and lose. I've got it now. So you're on twenty five million. If you get this wrong, you will lose fifteen million points. Now be careful, mate. All right. And we do uh, not. We do not. What that happened in a million years' time, okay? Yeah. We don't want to ruin this for Ben, Benny, Benny boy. They said any, 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 any. Now, just tell, just tell us a bit something before we carry on. Um, have you, what do you do for a living? What do I do for a living? Um, I normally, I oh well, there's not much to. To say about me, I'm just a, uh, I am just a funny guy with hair and hair. Uh, I'm, I'm not an atheist. I'm not an atheist. I'm a Christian, and I am also in my school working at a radio station. That's nice. That's nice. Which is something on a YouTube website. That's that's really that's really nice. Now, just tell us, just tell us about yourself. Uh, you're not married, are you? No! I'm no, just asking! I'm, no, 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 I'm just asking. Some people might have girlfriends or, you know, blokes or anything. <laughs> nah. And, uh, no, I'm a, nah. You never had a girlfriend before? I, I had. 
Oh, yeah? I, yeah, I did. What year was that then? It was like last year. Okay. Well, I don't know about me because I've never had a girlfriend. <laughs> oh, shut up, audience! God, uh, God, uh, <laughs> God, funny. <laughs> I feel like they're hey, laughing. Hey, ladies. Hey, ladies, remember. <laughs> There's always me single. <laughs> How do I get roughed into this lot? <laughs> right. Now, let's just get into position, mate, okay? Now, you're only three questions away from one billion points. You still have your lifelines. You still have a switch. Ask the audience and ask an expert on Skype, which anyone can help you, alright? Okay. Let's just hope anyone's online on Skype, because if anyone needs help, we'll call them, alright? Because that's all we can do, right? Here's the question, here it is. Which author created the character Becky Sharp? Now, I forgot to tell you, this is worth 50 million points, this is. Right. Which author created the character Becky Sharp? Anthony Trollope. Which author character? Yeah, who, which author created the character Becky Sharp? Becky Sharp. Was it Anthony Trollope? Charles Dickens. George Eliot. Or William Thackeray? I think it's William Thackeray. Now, we always say, take your time, you know. I know you just try to rush into this this bit, <laughs> and it's a tough question, you know. Or well, it could be easier, but we never have any person going so quick on this show. We never had anyone going so fast. We normally take their time, we do, but you are the only contestant. We've had the fastest to answer these questions. But <laughs> no, it's no, seriously, you really are the fastest contestant we've we ever had on this show. No, really. This, this is serious. Because you are the okay. only, you're the only fastest contestant we've ever had on the show. But that's very four question because Ben normally takes his time when he uses his lifeline. So, you say in William Thackeray? Yeah. For fifty million points, is that your final answer? That's my final answer. Okay. Once it goes orange, there's nothing I can do about it. You can't change your mind, that's it. Okay. That's fine with me. You've had 25 million points. You just risked an awful lot of points on, on two questions. Well, actually, one question. You had 25 million points. You didn't want to lose this point if you think you're right, but you didn't want it to be wrong. You didn't want to get this wrong. You've been very, very brave. You really didn't want to lose all that points you had in your hand. But you've now got 50 million points! It's the right answer! Is William Thackeray? Oh, well played, mate. God, I don't know where this has all come from, mate. I don't know where it's all coming from. Oh, God, Evans. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Where did you find out about Becky Sharp in the first place? <laughs> I don't know. It's, I don't write these questions. Some loony keeps on doing these questions. I don't write them. Trust me, I do not write these questions. Ooh, okay. <laughs> now, now you got 50 million points you still haven't touched one of your lifelines all right you still haven't used all your lifelines so they might come in handy 
But this question, question number nine, nine out of ten, this is worth one hundred million points. It's a lot of points. It's a lot of points to win, Ben, but it's also a lot of points to lose because if you get this wrong, you will still have your ten million, but you drop forty million of the of the fifty million you've already got. Okay. Yeah, I'm ready. <clears throat> okay, but you you still haven't touched your lifelines for a while, right? But this is worth one hundred million points. This is it. Let's have a look. Person might be called a poltroon. What kind of person might be called a poltroon? Impulsive. Generous. Talkative. Or cowardly. Coward. Joe, Joe, you only wanted to get these loads of points for Ben, you know. Joe, I know you, we never had this on our show before. You really need to take your time, you know. I, I know, I know this is really shocking, I know. I know we've never done this before, but you've got your lifelines. I know. But I know it's coward. But you said it would go a lot like this because, because because when you get to the one billion points question, you're going to be using all your life funds on a billion quid. Yeah. <laughs> so, I guess you want to play this question, don't you? Yeah. Is that your final answer? Yes, I think yeah, coward. Yeah. You just raised an awful lot of points on one question. You've had 50 million points. If you wanted to win, you could have been lucky. You've been doing so well, you have. We never had anyone going fast in this question before. You've done really, really well. This is we never had anyone going so fast in any of these questions before. You really, really have been very brave. Your award... Your award is a check for 100 million points! Well done! Oh my god! One hundred million points! That's incredible! Uh, now Ben, has, ben Connick's going to be really happy. Oh, Joe on in kits. He's, he's on one hundred million points. And he's one question away of becoming another billionaire. We'll, we'll take a break. Don't go away. Oh.